History was made at the Scripps National Spelling Bee last night. What started with 562 spellers at the beginning of the week ended with not one, but eight champions. That is easily the first time that has ever happened in the Spelling Bee's 92-year run. All eight co-champions join us this morning. Congratulations to all of you. We want to start, if we can, with a little bit of a lightning round, starting with Shritika, who I think is in the bottom left on our screen. Will you just say your name and the last word you spelled correctly? Go. Hi, my name's Shritika, and I spelled Aguilette. Oh, for the Hi, moment. I'm Aaron, and I spelled it, it, it and, and I spelled Aristipolis. I forgot the last word I spelled it. You forgot the last word. Uh, hi, my name is Soham, and the last word I spelled was Pondalok. Hi, my name is Avijay, and the last word I spelled was Palama. Hi, my name is Rishik, and the last word I spelled was Auslaut. Hi, my name is Rohan, and the last word I spelled was Odilic. Hi, my name is Saketh, and the last word I spelled was Bougainvillea. Hi, I'm Chris, and the last word I spelled was um, Sernuis. Okay, can I just say, first of all, I am 0 for 8 on not only not being able to spell any of those words, but not ever having heard any one of those words. <laughs> well, I words. haven't either, but Chris, I mean, so you, let's so just start with you, Christopher. You, did you know that word that you spelled? Yeah, uh, I, um, yeah. How did you know that? How, this is what I never understand about all of you brainiacs. How did you know what words to study to prepare for this? I mean, most of us study, like, language patterns and roots, yeah. and then, like, studied additional words to see how, like, to understand them. Yeah, if you just study roots and patterns and then study the irregular words, then that's really helpful. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, let me tell you something. It's I took etymology, to okay? I took <laughs> etymology in high school. Somehow I don't know any of those words that you guys just described. Mm -hmm. They just, they're in a different category. Yeah, they say they study roots, as one does, you know? <laughs> Uh, it, it, it's just absolutely crazy. Abhijay, if I can, I want to talk about the history here. When did you have a sense that this was going to be a different result in the spelling bee? When did you get the sense that the dictionary here was losing? Um, when Dr. Bailey announced that um, if three more rounds and all of us would be Octochamps, that, that was the moment that I thought, like, all of us could do it. All of, all of, like, the rest of these seven amazing spellers could do it. I want to take a wide shot of all of you guys because they decided for the first time ever to give you all the winning pot of gold. That first they were going to, what would you guys have thought if you had to split the winning prize money? Yeah, hmm. Honestly, after this point, it, it becomes less about the money and more about the lessons you've learned throughout the spelling bee and um, the great experiences and the memories you make here at Bee Week. All right, my kids are grounded when I get home. Yeah, all I can say I'm is grounding my how, children. How do you spell magnanimous? Uh, oh. you know, is how Even I, that I can't get uh, So I, I take it there. Um, you know, Christopher, were you pulling for each other? Be honest, be totally honest with me. As you get to those last yes. three rounds yes. and you yeah. hear that, again, the dictionary might be losing here, might be about to concede, were you hoping that all of you would emerge victorious? Yes. 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 Because as a speller, you know how hard everyone else has worked and you know how much they deserve to win because, you know, you're here with everyone else. You're, you're all finalists in the National Spelling Bee. So you all get $50,000. I mean, that is the winning, the winning amount of money. And instead of splitting it, they made the great and right decision that you're all going to get it because you all deserve it. And Abhijay, just tell us, I mean, how long have you studied for this moment in your life? Um, I, I study like four to five hours on weekdays, but when when it, like the competition came near, like I ramped it up and like I studied as much as I could, maybe like an extra one or two hours, and like ten hours on the week weekends, a little more. It I'm, depended on if I had any homework. I'm barely awake five to six hours a day, let alone studying spelling. Right. First they were slacking the four to five hours yeah. a day, and then he ramped it up when up, it got up serious. To, up to, to ten hours a day. Um, what's next? I mean, after you are crowned National Spelling Bee Champion, what's, you guys should start like a road show. The eight of you should go on the road and, and challenge anyone in anything. I, I honestly don't know what I should do next, but I know that spelling will help me with whatever it is. 
like if it's science, geography, math, it just depends on what I do. But spelling will, all the lessons I've learned, it'll help me throughout my life. Christopher, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm not sure really right now, but maybe something in environmental science. Not really sure. I, this is one thing I've always I haven't wondered. decided yet. No, uh, that's, that makes sense. You're you're not yet in high school. Do you guys judge people who can't spell because <laughs> you do it so well? I don't spell well, so will you look? Do you essentially say like you know you got to step up your game? No, because different people have different strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. I think that's a fair statement. All right, I have a challenge for you. Since you guys, again, beat the dictionary, can you beat Allison Camerata? My co-host oh, no. here, Allison, she spells her name in a, I would say, unusual way. So, oh, no. can you spell Allison? A-L-Y-S-S-O-N, like Alyssa? No, so maybe. Why are you doing Latin and Greek? Maybe it's one L. Like the. Well, no, that one. A L Y S O N. A L Y S O N. A L Y. 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 A L Okay, who's gonna say it? A L Y S O N. A L Y. I'll say it. A L Y S S O N. That was our final guess. That's a really good guess. It's just a really good guess. That is an unusual <laughs> way, but it's not as unusual as my way. No, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Oh. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. They could never get it. It's not based on any etymology. It's Will you just spell like... your name? Will you spell your name? All right, guys. It's A L I S Y N. Wait, oh, what? Wow. Yeah. That sounds like Okay, I was close to the <laughs> Yeah. What chemical <laughs> names? Yeah. That oh like my that. gosh. I'm oh, sorry. We 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 <laughs> they broke the dictionary. We broke the spelling bee champions <laughs> with the name Allison Camerata. Guys, congratulations to you. I am in awe of what you do. Thank you so much for being with us and we know we'll all be working for you one day.